What's up boys and girls, it's your light skin one, the Tusky G87 aka Michael Joe Daddy up in this thing one with you one more time for the first time in FY 2020, calendar year 2020 that is. And I'm here to bring you a new series. Now I know it's been a while, I actually got a lot of videos that are stacked up right now that I need to actually record, I need to edit and then throw out there. So I'm a little bit behind, but hey, bear with me, I'm back in this thing. Some of you are like, who are you? Where did you even come from? This is my first First time hearing about you check out my channel check out some of the things that I have on there I cover a good range of things mostly uh, mechanical style things and you know stuff like this um I go over motorcycles, I go over mechanics and auto hobbies and guns and things of that nature. So it's a lot of stuff in there. Uh, it ranges and you can see the transition from where I was when I started to where I am now. You know, it's a whole journey if you will. So please go ahead and check that out. I have a lot of other series like the Tuskegee Experience and a couple of other things out there. So go ahead and uh, check that out. But again, we want to introduce you and start you off this year, which yes, I know I'm four and a half months behind everybody else has been doing their own thing but yes I'm here starting off this series uh, in April but look it's all good we're gonna head, go ahead and press through it so again if you didn't recall already this series is talking about envisioning a better man for the year 2020 and we're gonna cover a lot of things and we're gonna talk about why this is a thing and go over the different parts of it so starting off why this series well, it's been something that's been kind of bothering my heart for a while. It's kind of broken my heart, if you will. It's one of those things that I prayed about and asked the Lord, you know, Lord, bring me something that you want me to think about. And actually, I really didn't pray that directly. I just asked that, you know, he uh, would show me his will for me. And this was one of the things. And I believe that the Lord, his heart is broken on this topic as well. That in this day and age, men are not viewed in the light in which he created us to be in. Uh, we're often looked at in a negative connotation, whether it be the media portraying us through uh, news outlets, whether it be movies, whether it be TV shows, whether it be plays, whether it be radio, music, uh, just whatever venue where you get your information and entertainment from and even through just conversation between other women. You know, this perspective has come up about men that we're just, you know, bad guys overall and in general, especially in the black community. Uh, there's a lot of flack that comes out in there. So I'm um, doing this series in an attempt and in a hope that whoever views this would benefit from it and if only one person views it and benefits from it then that will be a plus that would be a positive that would be mission accomplished so again this is here to change the perspective the hope is that we change the perspective of how women look at us overall because it's not a good look and you can't really blame them with some of the acts that have happened with men just throughout the years, you know, with the cheating, with the lying, with, you know, the murdering and whatever the issue is, there is always something that is done. There's always a bit of truth and a stereotype, if you will. They had to be rooted in something. So the hope is, is to uproot the negative seed and plant a good seed to product a positive life. But that takes action. That takes worth on our part as men. So again, we're going to go over these things. We're going to talk about, again, where this stems from, what the perception is, why the perception is, why do men do the things that they do, where that stems from. We're going to transition into what is a man and not the world's definition or not a woman's definition of what they perceive or what they think a man should be but what a man is to be from the creator themselves uh we're going to push on and talk about the man in a relationship or the man in a, a, a husband and we're going to talk about how a man should react perform respond while they're in a relationship or while they're married to continue that good view or not necessarily to continue the good view but just to do what we designed and what we were meant to do we were meant to be conquerors if you will we were meant to be the leader the head and so we're going to get a little bit into that as we progress through then we're going to finish up with the man and the father and how we as men should treat our sons and daughters and what we should do in that life and the basis for all of this is going to come from the bible yes that's right i said it the bible and now 
Uh, the reason why I'm coming from the Bible is because all of your self-help books that are out there in the world where they talk about how to make money, where they talk about prospering or building a better business, how to accomplish whatever plan you did, how to self-manage, how to time manage, how to do whatever it is that these self-help books talk about. The principles and the basis of them come straight from the Bible. And the Bible's been around for 2,000 years. So I figured why not go back to the very basis of it all and pull out all the inspiration if you will so again the good thing about using the bible is that it challenges us it shows us where we are and where we should be and if there will be a lot of things in this series that are going to hit a nerve and it's not going to feel good but that's a good thing let it hit that nerve because that lets you know that's the area you may need to fix that's the area where you need to put your focus on more that's the area where you need to pray in now again the series isn't just for the christian man this is for anyone looking to be a better man and hopefully through looking at this series you may start to think and want to say well what can i do to be better you may even start to question well hey what is my purpose and you start looking for that and i'll tell you that if you are questioning your purpose so why are you here God has it. Jesus has it. So I want to take this time out to say if you're looking and searching, you feel this hole in your heart and in your soul that just can't be filled no matter what you do, no matter how much money you have, no matter how many women you have, no matter how much of whatever it is that you have and you still can't be filled. I want to offer you Jesus. I want to offer you Jesus into your life and into your soul. And it's as simple as starting off with saying that one, you believe that Jesus had died on the cross, laid dead for three days, and rose up again on the third appointed morning with all power in his hand. And that he died on the cross for your sin and for my sin. And that he is the Lord and that his name is above all names. And that in his name every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. So if you believe that Jesus is Lord, that is the first step to redemption. And I want to say this, that if you feel that there is no redemption for the things that you have done, no matter how egregious, whether you've murdered, whether you have uh, been adulterous, whether you've been a thief, whether you've been crooked, whatever it's been, no matter how egregious you think, whatever it was that you've done that you can't receive salvation or redemption from, I want to tell you right now that you can. Now, some things may be blocked away from you because of those actions. Some things you may lose because of that action but your soul can still be redeemed and when you die you know that you will be going to heaven because there's a father there's an advocate who prays for you who is waiting for you to reach out and to grab hold of him so i just wanted to take that time to throw that out there now so as we press on back to the series again this isn't just for people the Christian man this isn't for you know uh, a faithful man this isn't for you know uh, and when I say faithful I mean faith based religion based individual but this is for anybody if you're a woman right now watching this this can be for you too this can give you some insight as well this can give you a guideline to know what a man should be how they should react as a husband as a father as a just overall man this would be good for you so again uh, please stay with me and walk with me through this series if you have any questions comments anything that come up throughout this series that you may question or this just doesn't seem right to you please drop them in the comment now we're not here to bash each other we're not here to drop you know just uh egregious things in the comment section but this is an area to learn this is an area for us to better one another not to try to circumvent things or not to try to say well you know i don't read the bible i don't believe none of that mumble jumble the purpose of this particular series is to identify what the world sees the man as now, especially black men, and then how to better that view. And I'm using the Bible as the basis because everything else that you read out there takes the principles from the Bible. So again, if you do happen to say, hey, well, what do I need to do to be saved? What do I need to do to change my life? Or whatever have you, and you come to Jesus, that is outstanding. That would be the greatest thing. However, if you just so as simple as listen to these series and the means to find out how to be better, that is great too. Because again, that is the intent of this particular series is to help you and I become better men. So again, continue on with this journey with me. Uh, suggest 
you know recommendations uh drop you know whatever ideas you have for other series coming up and i'll sit down look at those and start trying to draw those up if the spirit draws me that way but again i look forward to seeing you in the next upcoming videos again we may have about up to six or seven videos within this series so i look forward to seeing you i look forward to hearing what you have to say in your comments again make them tasteful make them uh constructive but you know definitely drop them down below all right remember this is tuskegee 87 reminding you to straighten up and fly right and i'm out